And Shadowrun? Well, which Shadowrun are you currently playing? The game's not as dynamic. The way that I see it, it kind of reminds me of... You remember Deus Ex? Is it like more of like a free roaming version of Deus Ex? Or is that just uh, not necessarily right? Uh... All right, let's head out and let's see what else we have to do. Shower room returns? Okay. So it's a, it's an open world Deus Ex? Okay. And there are only certain things that you could do because you have certain uh, body parts or that's your um, class. You could go about it different ways. You could go shooting guns blazing or you could hack or you could use cyber parts or cyberware to get around. Okay. You gonna play it once again? It, the first Deus Ex or the second Deus Ex? Because that's the question. Also, the original Deus Ex. Which, um, maybe you could find on GOG, I don't know. But it's Returns? Oh, so you haven't beat Returns yet. You are in for a thrill. Also, there are a bunch of mods that people have made that are fantastic for uh, Shadowrun Returns. First and third? <laughs> okay, I, I get you. I understand. Um, city gates, graveyards, slums. Uh, should we get the the equalizer? I I think it's a plus three weapon. I'm not entirely sure. Hold up. Uh, we have to send someone away, and then we have to get Yoshima. I mean, we have to get uh into Minsk's inventory. And get the actual uh, pommel of the equalizer, but we can always do that later. There's a weapon progression system with the combat. Like, you move up from, like, taped pistols to actually military-grade-ish. Um, you know what? We're going to go back to the temple area. We'll see how good Jacob is at being a priest. You know what I mean? It is done. I get paid. I get paid to say the word like a pre who blue face. Wrapped. I get paid to say the word like a priest. That I was one of blue faces. Um bars. And also I need a Rufus to play with my Kim. Po I need a Kim Possible to play with my Rufus. Th those were. The sum total of Blue Faces bars on the XXL Freshmans. Um, anyhow, I have done, as you said, and my wife and I are together once more. She was shamed by her breach of our vows. We are, so we are united in our duty to the sanctity and our commitment again. Hey, all right, we out here saving marriages. There is not the spark we once had, but this is a more realistic pairing now. We've put out the fires of our youth. Thank you. Okay, I don't... I, I feel kind of bad that... Um... His... His... Um... The, the fires in his relationship kind of went out. But maybe they'll rekindle again? You know? The mix, mix it up. Maybe not Saturday. Maybe Sunday. Easy like Sunday morning? Okay, uh, I do believe we have to talk to this gentleman to find out how we did as a priest. Helm looks to you with favor for what you have done. I have a task that needs completion if you seek his further gratitude. Um, I'll listen. What is it that you need? Ooh, what's this? Merchant from MTG? Yo, how is Merchant doing? I, I've seen a lot of Merchant's videos, and he's done very well in a lot of stuff. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, no, no lie. Yeah, that's... 
Oof. Ooh. So there's going to be a next-gen patch coming for Xbox Series X and PS5, I think. Okay. So is that what I wonder took so long with Shadowrun? Where they were essentially working on, you know, the Xbox and PS uh, PlayStation versions and then PC? Because another game... There's a couple games that have like that that have been ported from PC to consoles and then th there's j just a ton of ish going on with that. So we we'll, we'll see, I'm sure they'll patch it at some point in time, just th there is a world of difference between those two pictures. I know you would not disappoint you have already proven reliable. Here is the duty I require. Bear with me, for the telling is a little complicated. Okay, this is going to suck. It is my responsibility to furnish. The more you use a weapon type, the better you are with weapon type. Okay, I like that. I actually really dig that. Because it's not necessarily, okay, I'm going to switch to this rifle because it's so amazing and it's fantastic. You also kind of suck with the rifle because you've never used them outside of pistols because you were street level and that's what you used. Yep. I, I believe it. Um, to furnish, it's my responsibility to furnish this temple with the artifacts that speak of Helm's glory. Um, if you notice, our temple kind of looks a little terrible to the one that we went to before. Ill Matter gets, gets a little more <laughs> in um, the, the plate than everybody else. Objects that please the eye draw the mind into the glory of Helm. Okay. And what would you have me do? This place reflects the pride you take in that position. Ah, let, let's butter him up. Afkatla is lucky to have an exceptional artist visiting, second only perhaps to the poor prism of Nashkel. What a loss his death! Was that the guy in the first game with, with the with the gems and the rubies and whatnot who got assassinated? Yeah, that, that, I remember that dude. I speak of Sir Sarles, who is making a brief stop. Before leaving to Kalim, 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 Kalim Shan, Kalim Shan, we wish to use this great opportunity to commission a work for him. Okay, but nothing is ever easy. Aside from his enormous commission fee, he claims he will work in nothing short of pure illithium, a metal more valued than gold. That's that's problematic. Yes, yes, it is. Oh, uh, what can I do? This is where you come in. I would ask that you convince Sarles to honor Helm. Other churches court him as well, though they have no more elithium than we. You will have to secure enough elithium to keep him happy and convince him to accept an affordable commission. Discuss with this with Sarles. He may be reasonable. Do as you must. Be stern in your negotiations. None should exceed Helm in this. Try to avoid hurting anyone. But answer threats in kind. Charles is worth it. Will I be reimbursed if I must spend my own gold on him? Yeah, that's a very good question. You will be paid as best as the coffers of Helm will allow. If you do not come out ahead, count it towards your service to Helm, a donation in another form. Oh, Lord. Delay will not... Al Delay will allow other temples to s outstep us. Go to Sir Saul's and his estate in the southeast section of the government district. Okay. Conduct yourself with discipline. You are the eyes of Helm in this enterprise. Oh, I don't like this. Uh, Dark Tide gameplay, we're getting an Ogryn? Ooh, that sounds fun. I'm actually, I'm digging that. Apparently, for Necromunda, they added, um, I forget the name of the faction. They're, they're not the mining faction, they're, they're another group, which is kind of cool. Um da 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 Okay, we're going to the government district. We gotta convince this dude. We we got we got the juice. We gotta convince this guy. We gotta go to the government district? Okay. Let's go to the government district and see what we can do, right? If you wish. 
I I am happy to be doing uh cleric duties. Um council six, district, Delrin estate, Daryl estate. Okay, here's the estate that we need to be at. So the three other so the other priests that may or may not get into this are going to be the church of oh i i forget they're they're a good aligned church we also happen to have, have to worry about talos so i'm afraid yo isaac what's good yo ja jacob is being a good priest we already saved somebody's marriage and we also made a magical bow that shoots lightning arrows so i'm feeling pretty good we now have to convince this guy that he should create a work venerating our god, or else. Or else. What's that from? That's from um, Fairly Odd Parents. Or else. Alright, so where is this dude? That's the butler. So I guess we go talk to the butler, say what's up, how you doing? Uh, no, I have not. It'll probably be a while before I touch Cyberpunk. It, it'll be, it'll be a minute. I'll be honest. Uh, yes, sir. May I be of some assistance to you? Have you business with the... I'm not even trying to pronounce that. Not with them as such. I have had heard that there is an artist. Sarles was here. <laughs> Sir Sarles is a guest at the moment. <laughs> no doubt you are from some church or another. Uh, you were expected. Try not to track your dirt about too much. Hmm? I, I don't even know where that voice came from. Okay, let's try to find Sir Sarles. Oh, I'm certain I would enjoy it, but... I just... I, I just do not think... It would work very well right now. Okay. It has a lot of endings and things. Wait! Well, hold up! Pause! Pause. So someone's already gotten to the end of Cyberpunk? Someone's already gotten to the end of Cyberpunk 2077? Like, like for real? Or is it just... Or is it just, you know, that that's what they said? Because I'm sure I'll like it in due time. Eventually I'll, I'll hop on it and we'll check it out. But did, did someone already speed run Cyberpunk? Just so they could throw it up on YouTube? I mean, it's been like three days. <laughs> okay, but Mad Endings is good. I like the I like the idea of Mad Endings. Because, to tell you the truth, if I was going, if we were about to play it right now, I would 150% pick the court background. I'm not doing Street Kid. We're not doing Nomad. We're, we're going in. You've been drawing Jackie? Oh, that's nice. You know, people be no lifing. True. People be no lifing. So there's three or four endings, but there's... uh, So it's like... Like, um, Fallout uh, New Vegas, where basically there's a large ending, and then there are a bunch of little other points that you could touch and either help somebody or extremely um, lead to detrimental effects in the Mojave, just like things like that. I, I dig how they do that, because I remember getting like to the end of New Vegas, and I was just like, oh, yeah. I'm the hero of the Mojave. I did all this stuff. I saved this person. I saved that person. I did this. And I completely forgot about someone. <laughs> and the entire town. I, I forgot about that quest and everybody. Uh, they didn't do so well. I'll say that much. They didn't do so well on that one. All right, let's talk to Sir Sarles and see what's up. But yeah, in all honesty, you know, you know somebody, I, I, I shouldn't underestimate like the no lifing that happens. Someone, 
probably has already beaten Cyberpunk. They have like it up in six hour intervals on YouTube. It's already up. Everybody's already seen the endings. And that's that that's what my dude does. Anyhow, Sir Souls. Who is it? Might I ask? Why have you disturbed my meditations? My creative muse must be gently awakened. And your stomping about has simply not conductive to this. My apologies, sir. I will leave you to your thinking. I apologize, but I've come to request your talent on a commissioned artwork. Oh, yes, 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 yes. One of those bloody churches sent you, didn't they? Must be because everyone else understands the word? No. Which one are you from? Oh, I don't like this guy already. Yeah, they'll have all the platinum trophies. They'll have 100%ed it. Like, like, that's just it. It's been three days. Somebody has already found everything in the game, beaten every single quest, done every single quest three times just to see all of the endings. It's already all up on YouTube. It's been three days. What are you talking about, JB? People are already speed running the game. <laughs> oh, some people got a week early. Dang. Yeah, it's, it's over. Once the embargo is, is up, everybody's just got their entire playthrough. All right. Um, come now. Is your muse that picky? Offer commission, is that enough? Nah, no. Nah, this guy is an artsy fartsy dude, right? Helm has sent me forth. His ever seeing eyes wish to gaze upon your artwork. Let's let's play up to him. And you all oh, and your offer is the same as the others, golden satisfaction of serving the one true whatever. Oh. But think of the prestige you'll learn, no. You'll be gaining the favor of a powerful faith. I think gold, we will offer more if it is not enough. Nah, hold on. Okay, how should we go about this? Because this dude doesn't care about the money. He doesn't care about the gods. We could come at him and say he'll gain power from a powerful faith, but I don't think that that's really going to help him. We'll say the prestige, but doesn't he already have enough prestige? I have prestige now, yep. I am the darling of every noble in town, and damned if I need any more than that. Neither do I need the payment. I am well provided for. What I really need is to work in the medium of my choice, pure illithium. Anything less is an insult to my skills. That's all I require. So if we were an evil priest, could we just steal the illithium from the other churches? <clears throat> Um, I'm told such material is very costly. Is there no alternative? Is there something else that's even rarer that you don't get to work on? Then I will find what you need. Perhaps I can get some from an ore merchant. Is there no alternative? You are told. Have you not checked? Gathering the materials is not the job of the fine artist such as myself. Okay, we're going to an ore merchant. I recall the name of one that was referred to me in the last visit. Jerlia was her name, I believe. Speak with her... She has exotics occasionally. Try the promenade. Okay. Now go. I will work for whatever church acquires the necessary materials. If not yours, then another 200 pounds of lithium, or I go back to enjoying my holiday. Oh, lithium is a rare metal, is a rare metal, Jacob. Okay. Rarer than teats on a bull. I've heard of ways to make a copy of the metal. Be alloy, if you will. Mayhap we can look into that, eh? Okay, I don't know about that. So, who thinks we should follow Corgan and legitimately just make a fake material that hopefully fools this guy into making an artwork and then the artwork will probably melt into tiny little pieces? I don't know if I dig that. To be honest. Because... If we do go about it that way, the odds of it not working sound to be really, really high. But let's hit Joaquin's Promenade and see what we could do. I mean, how much could this illithium cost, right? 
Can't be that much. I mean, I mean look, we we are. We got the money out here. The artist in you is hating this. Is it because of how they have represented the the artists? At your command. I have all the money and power I need. What I really want is to work on my <laughs> true material. Now go fetch peasants. <laughs> oh, dude. This, this guy is a foppish artist. But since his his only other competition does, does not exist anymore, he, he sadly got assassinated in the first game, I do believe. Also, who's slacking? Is Jacob lacking? Come on, Jacob. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Jacob was just contemplating smacking him with the flail one time. Just one good time, you know? Okay. So we gotta go to the promenade and see what's going on. Oh, I'm certain there are dudes like that. I, dude. Something amiss. That shouldn't be too there are tons of dudes like that. Like whether it's, it, it's not even, it doesn't even need to be art. What? It could be streaming and Stop. doing YouTube and other stuff too. Oh, there's, there's people like that. It's just upsetting that we got to deal with, with this dude. Okay, so we got to find a rare ore merchant. I think her name begins with... What is it? Ah, here we go. Here's the ore merchant. I love how this is just here for one quest. But hey, whatever, right? I'm digging it. <clears throat> so how much do you guys think this will cost realistically? Because I'm, I'm not, uh, you, you, you all know me by now. I'm a hoarder, but I also, I also pinch my pennies. Every copper, every copper is to be accounted for three times. We account for every copper here. Anything you need, I can likely provide, I assure you. But also we can make a bootleg copy. We can make a bootleg a lithium and make it, but the, the part that upsets me with Corrigan is the fact that I feel like it's going to, like, melt. Like a wax dummy that's been left out in the sun, you know what I mean? Okay, we'll do another quick save. Yeah, I'm cheating, Kev. You know how we run out here. Also, Isaac, how you doing in Street Fighter? Or how you doing just in video games in general? What What are you intrigued about? Besides cyberpunk, anything else going on? And also, what the heck did you mention earlier, Pyro guys? What game? Obviously set in the 40k universe that I did not know about. Um, interested in a bulk purchase. Okay, we, we're Costco of ore out here. Okay. I got fine prices for masonry as well, and crafters that can build you everything from arches to overhangs. Okay, I have no... A lithium for Sir Soros, how much would 200 pounds be worth? 200 pounds? He's mad, raving out of his mind. Oh, Lord. Dark Tide? Uh, what would it be about? It sounds either like chaos or orcs. Or is it, um, the other group? Chaos, orcs, or the aliens that eat everything. I'm forgetting their names as of right now. Uh, so does that mean you don't have it in stock? <laughs> you don't know what is involved in getting a lithium. I have an agreement with a rather special source, but there's only so much. I'm allowed to take 50 pounds a season at most. 50 pounds a season? I don't think I have that time. So this is a fruitless enterprise then. He has sent me on a merry little chase. Hold on. It's difficult, but not impossible. There are two options to you. You can go to my source and try to apply the extra out of him, or you can use a substitute. Ah, oh, here we go. Um, you mean a cheaper metal as a replacement? Won't Sarles know? For all his pomp and balderdash, Sir Sarles won't, wouldn't know quality materials if you beat him over the head with them. Now that's a fine image, eh? Such a trick would be very rude, but no ruder. 
If I suppose then the obnoxious artist himself, a lithium indeed, he could just as well have said no and been done with it. Okay, I, I see you, Mazzy. Oh, it's chaos? Ooh. <gasps> so it's like a Vermintide set in the 40k universe? Okay, that sounds fantastic. I love that. Um, and Vermintide, both Vermintide 1 and 2 were good games. Enough of that anyway, I would wager that a derivative of Illithium would serve just as well. Pure Lithium is quite rare. But an alloy could be fashioned at a reasonable rate. Um, perhaps I should just look to your source about the real thing. He may help. Uh, he may at that, but I will require compensation for revealing him to you. If word got out who and where my source was, I'd be out of business. Make it worth my while. It's your career, how does 5,000 gold sound? If this could ruin you, should offer no less than 1,000 gold. You know what, Jacob? D just throw that adventuring money all over the place. Boom. Although we could have said Helm. I feel like Helm is looking down at me, shaking his head back and forth. Because if we had said, hey, you know, we got Helm on our side, that probably, you know, might have lessened the cost down. But whatever, we're balling right now. His name is Unger Hildark. He stays in the Copper Cornet. Uh, when he's in town, don't, don't get him mad, will you? He's at a enough of a risk just coming here. He's a door guard. Oh, Um, I don't deal with the likes of Durgar. No, we're dealing with Durgar right now. Uh, well, we dealt with them in the Underdark. We were, we were fine selling, so... Where does a dwarf of such evil nature find sanctuary in Am? At the Copper Cornet, of course. It hides worse than him within, besides. They have to eat, too, you know. Nothing wrong with a mutually beneficial trading agreement, true. He's in disguise. He's... His kind doesn't look all that different, and as long as he's left alone, he's fine. Not a bad guy once you get to know him. You go talk to him. Tell him I sent you. Maybe he'll let you pull a little more lithium out of him than I can get. It won't be cheap, though. Thanks, I'll do that. Good luck. You'll need it, of course. You knew I would say that. Of course I did. Okay. So we're going to head to the Copper Cornet and see what's going on. I will be back one second. It'll be quick. Okay, super back. Uh, the Claire characters. Um. NPC in the maps for each mission sound amazing. The player characters look like Arskin, Ogryn, some sort of commander, and a minister and priest. Okay, no Mechanicus? No Mechanicus? That would have been fantastic. Um. Slums, copper cornet, let's go. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh slums no not slums. I kinda would like to play as a tech priest, to be honest. It sounds like a lot of fun. Okay. So we need to found we need to find not found a dwarf. Animan, Bouncer, Minsk is still there. We just gotta find a dwarf. <clears throat> or 
Or at least someone that looks like a dwarf. Tiana? Okay. Edwin. Solvnas. Okay. Ungar Hildark. Okay. Okay, we found him. So here's the question. Should we cheat and use charm on this dude? It doesn't seem lawful. We're here to do business, right? All right, let's talk, Unga. <clears throat> what are you staring at? Ain't it illegal to be a... <laughs> Ain't illegal to be a dwarf, last I heard. Take your eyes off me and put them someplace safe. Ah, but you're not an ordinary dwarf, are you? Not by a long shot. <clears throat> no need for hostilities. Jurlia sent me. I wish to discuss a lithium. She did, did she? I have to have a chat with that lass. I trust you paid her enough that there will be some for her to split with me. Nice. She will see that it is wise to do so. So you seek a lithium, do you? I have none, and I won't be getting any anytime soon. Now that, that is out of the way. Goodbye. <clears throat> Wait, this could be very profitable for you. Won't you consider? It doesn't matter, fool. I don't have any lithium. It's that simple. My source is inaccessible, and you aren't getting any. Get angry if you wish, but it won't help. Okay, um... You sound like this was not a plan shortage. What's the problem? Oh, so now you wish to be my friend. Why should I bother with you at all? <clears throat> uh, you can't fix your problem, or you would have a lithium. What else can you do? I'm not interested in harming a simple merchant. Where else will you get help? Nowhere. This place is unfriendly to even the pathetic dwarves of Halen Mountain. All right, fool. If you wish to share my problem, I'll give it to you. All right, let's hear about this. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh, dude, that sounds awesome. Because Hive Worlds like Necromunda are a great place for this stuff, and if there is like some chaos incursion... The Inquisition is just hiring mercenaries to kind of keep it low and hopefully take care of it before they have to send the big guns and possibly destroy an entire planet. You know, or, um... What's that world that, that's essentially a hive world that is in, un, in constant warfare because there's valuable resources there so they don't want to bomb the entire place but they're fighting against the orcs and the chaos and the tyranids. The tyranids are what they were called those aliens and it, it's just like insane I, I forget what it is it's like a forge world or something but yeah that that sounds pretty it sounds smart they're, they're trying to keep everything low get a couple dregs or some military guys oh trader guard yeah so basically a trader guard station there they found something evil chaos -y deep down yeah it's armageddon thank you they found something deep down there and they're going nuts worshiping chaos and you're sent down there to take care of it before the official army has to take care of it for everyone else uh nah close enough you want a lithium you can wait for it we mine it deep in the earth and it's a dangerous going it's rare enough when production is normal okay this is all useless information though because my la my la latest shipment was stolen from under me so there's no lithium for anyone for another season or more. Uh, maybe I should try and have a talk with the person that robbed you. You want to go chasing after him? That's your business. It's lost to me anyway. I show my face, and he'll have the guards on me for just being a Doragar. Typically. Typical of this city. I'm just a poor businessman, but I'll be jailed. Just from my shadowed face. This bastard that robbed me looks like a rock gnome. So he's welcomed with open arms. They wouldn't guess at what a fiend he is. After I hired him, I found out what he'd done. I suppose that's why he cheated me and took off. Just point me in the right direction. Yes, well, you can go after him if you like. Last I heard, he was holed up in the bridge district. A, dere a derelict little place... Bought with my gold. Here. I'll even mark it on your map. He won't be moving much. He was on the run from Baldur's Gate when I met him. Oh, I suppose you'll want his name as well. 
The name was Neb. Why do I feel like he was either an NPC or a character that we could have run into in the original Baldur's Gate, the first game? I, I didn't spend that much time running around things and finding certain things, but okay. Let's keep it moving. He left a few families crying, or so I hear. Tell his corpse that Unger Hildark sent you. Alright. Thank you, sir. We'll take care of this really quick for you. So, the question is, how much of this ore are we going to get? Because 200 sounds crazy. Uh, the usual merchant, the usual supplier gets 50, right? Also, before we do that, let's go back and check with the priest and find out how much we've got. Are there three major wars on Armageddon? Good, good lord. Like, I feel like... The official minister, the, the whoever runs the world would have actually just blown it up by now, but it has to be valuable. As I thought, duty is the greatest honor and duty to Oh, okay, so you're not gonna tell us how much we've got. All right, so we basically need the whole 200 as a kitten caboodle type of thing. That's all right, though. We're just going to go to the bridge district. We're going to talk to this guy, have a nice conversation, and probably stab him a couple times. That's all. All right, let's check it out. He marked it on our map. Uh, Balthus. Oh, I know where it is. I know where it is. So if I'm correct, the derelict building is all the way at the end. So all we have to do is just have... A polite conversation with this gentleman and it'll work out, right? Who's Stan it? You're named NPC and you're moving around. Kind of big for a halfling, Fuzzy. <laughs> I be not a halfling, you be spalled. What? What are ye besides a fool sulfur? Blind too? The gods of curse, ye imbecile? Okay. So that kid got on his last nerves, and those were insults I've never even heard of. That's lovely. Alright, let's keep it moving. I'm guessing he insults everyone at some point in time. But the derelict building, I'm pretty sure, is towards the end. It should be, like, right back here. And we'll see how that works out. Oh, the Steel Legion? Dude, you have to be a nut to be in the Imperial Guard. You have to be incredible. Miss Cragmoan? I do not know who Miss Cragmoan is. Okay, we gotta check this again. Derelict House, Temple of Helm. There's another Temple of Helm? How many Temples of Helm do we need? Okay, hey. I'm okay with that. Is this a nice Temple of Helm? And we just got oh. You wouldn't hurt a gnome, would you? Yes, yes, we would hurt a gnome. Actually, have you reason to be here? I don't recall summoning such as you. Do I know you? I do not think it's so. Uh, I'll be going then. Sorry to have bothered you. Is your name Neb? Why, friend, who told you my name? Who, who is it that sent you here? Uh, I'm here for the ore. Uh, I hear that you're on the run from Baldur's Gate. No, I'm here for to take back what you stole from Ungar Hildark. Ungar? So you support the morally gray with the slaughter of the morally red? What? Think of what my death will mean. Think of the children. He he he. Come then attack and your death shall be a riddle for some other fool to solve. Okay. This dude is nuts. Let's, let's... Oh, God. Yes, if you wish. Dang it. My bad. Yo, what's good, Malarchus? What's up? Uh, we're currently doing our, our clerical duties. And it, it has to deal with a foppish artist who only uses the finest materials. And Pyro super hates this guy's guts. Yeah, don't they just, like, um... Like, if you're drunk or and like passed out on the streets or 
if you're just on the streets at a bad hour, they will forcibly conscript you into the Imperial Guard? Oh, good grief. Okay, let's talk to this guy again. I'm so sorry. We have to talk to this dude. No, 11.30. 11.30 is the stream. It's it's 11.30, sir. I was going to say, you can check my, twi my, my tweeters, but I know you do not have a Twitter. But yeah, it's 11.30. Um, Jarla sent me. Um, for the glory of helm, I mean, little me. Um, doesn't sound like this is a plan supply. Where else will you get help? Okay. Um, I'll try to have a talk with them. Okay, I feel like I've completely screwed this up. Just point me in the right direction. I, I feel like I've answered poorly. I don't know why I'm going back. Is it? Um, I was talking to Cav in the Cyberpunk 2077. Kinda reminded me of like an open world um, Deus Ex. Okay, so... Boom. Profitable, you don't have it. It's a problem. Boom. Okay, no, I, I answered it completely the same way that I answered it before. I don't know why I'm going back for this. Point me in the right direction, yada, yada, yada. Okay, let's go. It is, I guess, for some it's not. I, I don't know. It looks cool, but um, I think it was Cav posted up a picture of the PC version versus the Xbox Series X. I'm confused, and they have some noticeable graphical dif differences. I will say that much. Yeah, if the world's run by a messed up governor, they'll hire um, just dregs of society to go and look into it. Oh. Well, I guess in both situations, yeah. Okay, we're off to the bridge district. Okay, so let's, you know, save early and then talk to this guy and see what's up. But hey, how you doing, Malachus? Hopefully all is good. Ah. Nice. Well, how do you feel? Do you, do you believe it was worth the hype? Are you enjoying yourself? Um, because I've heard that it's like the, the glitches that a lot of people are running into aren't really that bad. Like it's like, okay, somebody is supposed to be sitting, but they're not really. And just like, eh. Um, graphically. Oh, it's not, it's not the hype. It's not the hypest thing ever? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, the graphical stuff is one thing, and I'm sure there's a bunch of bugs and some other stuff that's going on. Because you would think that... You wouldn't hurt a gnome, would you? Nope. Oh, it's not worth it. Well, wh what would your personal rating be? You got bored that fast? Ah, oh, snap, son. So, so, right now, what would your rating be out of 10? Or is it just that it gets repetitive for you at some point in time? <clears throat> <clears throat> Apologies. Alright. So this is Neb. He stole all the stuff. Um, is your name Neb? I hear you're on the run from Baldur's Gate. So my former life does come back to haunt. So be it, though. I shall miss the children. So, oh yes, the children. Come then, attack, and your death shall be a riddle for some other fool to solve. Yo, is this guy really trying to fight us? 
Oh! Oh my god! These are children's spirits? Okay, so he is a monster. We're gonna hit this turn undead. I, I'm so sorry, children. May you, may you rest at peace. Also, I do, I, I will admit, I do like the fact that now, apparently, um, the game gave us something that a priest should be able to take on. What's going on with... I hope. Be quick with it. What do you want? Right, this should work out, right? Oh my lord! I am yours to command. Yes. Oh, also, hold on. Ready for anything? What about True Sight? We should be able to see him, shouldn't we? Or Wizard's Eye? Let's see. Okay, he's over there. It is done. He 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 he. Okay, I know you're over here. Back off! Your kneecaps are at me mercy. Oh. Huh? I don't know what this dude did, but nah, we're just gonna take him out quick. So I don't know who Neb is, but good lord, man. Also, the, the bow that we got, the Tungarian bow? Yes. That's a man's head! Yeah, that, that's questionable. Uh, that's a man's head. We got 200 pounds of Illithium ore. That's a man's head. That's... Okay. Do we, do we go to the town guard? 